Hi everybody, I'm Bobby, and this is Cosmic Coaching. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about grief, okay? So I know that this is a little bit of a different topic than we usually discuss here on my channel, but I do think that this is a really important one. So when we look at things like positive mindset, law of attraction, manifestation, we tend to really focus on those things in, in our lives that are positive or the positive things that we want to attract or we want to manifest. But rarely in this community do I hear discussions around things that are maybe not so pleasant. And one specifically that I'm thinking of is grief. I think it's really important to acknowledge that even though we are trying to exist in this space of positivity and um, spirituality, there are always going to be things that happen in our lives that just aren't positive. And those things happen for reasons. One of the reasons is there's a lesson. As difficult as those lessons are, there is a lesson. We don't know what agreements or soul contracts we made before we stepped into this life. And some people believe that there are certain things that we come here to learn and that we make arrangements or agreements that we are going to experience certain things before we are born and have this existence here on earth. One of the things that teaches us and one of the things that happens, I think, to probably everybody at some point in their life is some sort of loss where we experience feelings of grief. And grief can come from anything. It doesn't necessarily, obviously there's the death, you know, when there's a death, we grieve, but there's also other things that can happen in your life that you can grieve. The loss of a job, um, moving, the end of a relationship. So grief happens to us throughout our lives. It's something that we are always going to have to deal with. So how do we deal with grief in a way that is healthy and productive, but that doesn't pull us out of alignment for what it is that we are trying to create in our life? I wish I could remember who told me this. I think it was a counselor that I saw when I was young, when I was dealing with the death of my grandparents. But Whoever it was that said this, someone told me that our bodies only allow us to experience so much grief at a time. Our bodies are only physically capable of handling so much grief or heartbreak. And so it's very often for people to have these experiences happen and they go through a grieving period and then they move on with their lives. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they're hit with this overwhelming sense of grief. Where is this coming from, right? Because we've already dealt with it. Not necessarily. It could be that the grief that your body is experiencing is just way too much to be handled at one time. And so the grief is going to come in waves and the grief comes when everything is fine. So when your life is going great, when you are on a roll and maybe you've got like a great job and you're manifesting all this stuff and you've got a great relationship or your kids are being really good or just in a really good place in your life. All of a sudden, feelings might creep in of grief and you're thinking, where did this come from? Well, your body is saying, okay, you're in a great spot. So now it's a good time to deal with some grief. Here you go. And then it bubbles back up to the surface. So how do we deal with grief when this happens? The first thing that we need to do is we need to honor those feelings of grief. So often we exist in the spiritual realm in this place of um it's like I, I call it toxic positivity you know it's that good vibes only well that's impractical and unrealistic because it's not sustainable we are here to experience life and so life has good and life has bad without the bad we wouldn't know what good is so we have to go through all these different things so it is okay to feel feelings that are low vibration. So the first thing I recommend that you do when these feelings creep up is to carve out some time for yourself, some private time, some alone time to sit down and really experience the emotion of grief. There is something that your body needs to deal with. So instead of stuffing it down and allowing it to bubble up later, we're going to sit in it. And I would just encourage you to do this. This is a great thing to do paired up with your meditation practice. So this is something that you can do during your meditation, but allow yourself to feel those feelings and see what thoughts sit in quiet and see what thoughts come up for you. 
Oftentimes when I'm in these moments of experiencing this like repressed grief that's bubbling up, I will have these like thoughts or memories come up of things that I didn't even think about that seemed insignificant at the time. But now that my body's processing it, I look at that and I think, wow, that was a, that was something that was much bigger than I realized that impacted me so much more than I thought at the time because it's coming up in these thoughts. So then I'm able to process it, address it, work through it, allow those thoughts to kind of process. Now, this does not mean that you get into your thoughts and you spiral farther and farther and farther down and you just focus on being miserable. That's not the purpose of this activity. It's to really identify, okay, why am I feeling this way? And what is making me feel this way? Once you identify why you're feeling like that or what is making you feel like that, then it's time to work on releasing whatever that is. Releasing can be done in a lot of different ways and releasing is a very, very personal thing. I have some people in my life who they are burners. They release through burning something. That is like how they are going to release something. Other people prefer to release things in thought or in with their breath. So in meditation. So it's an inhalation of bringing in everything good and you have to visualize this. And then when you exhale, you're going to push out and completely empty your lungs and blow out every those feelings, those physical manifestations of the feelings in your stomach, that pit, you're going to blow that out and release it. That is another way that it can be released. Some people find that journaling is very therapeutic and very releasing for them. If they just jot it down and get it out, they jot it down, it's out, they can release it. So finding whatever tool works for you as far as a good way to release. After you go through your release process, you could still be dealing with some heavy energy. I mean, it's like grief is a heavy thing to deal with. And so it can be residual and it can stick around. So you have felt the feelings, you've explored what's causing them, why you have them, you've released them. The next step is to reframe and refocus. So it's looking at that grief or looking at that experience and we've released it. Now, how do we take that energy and turn it into something that is positive, something that we can grow from, something that we can learn from? Again, there's no right or wrong way to do this next step. It's going to be what works best for you. Something that helps me is that I will look at all of the things that I have gained from what I have lost. So when I look at the experience of my, my grandparents, right, that is tragic. And you think like, what could possibly be gained from a murder, the death of grandparents? Well, for me, I have learned that I always have to be aware of my surroundings. Not only do I have to be aware of my surroundings, but I need to instill in my children that they need to be aware of their surroundings. It's very interesting because my grandparents had eight children. And so you can imagine with eight children, all of the grandchildren. So I have a lot of cousins and it's very interesting because all of us are extremely cautious and wary of our surroundings. So not only is there a benefit for me, but it's a ripple effect that has also touched all of the people in my family, all of my cousins, all of us, we are incredibly vigilant. We are always kind of looking around, seeing what's going on, being aware of just who was in our vicinity. Another benefit that came out of that situation was I learned self-defense. Uh, my mom was very big on self-defense after that happened, took me to a self-defense class. And then um, I was probably, I think, junior high and when I took my first self-defense class. And then from there, I've just built and built and built. And so I've learned tools to protect myself and keep myself safe. So that's another positive that came from that. The other thing that it did was it pulled the family together. So sometimes when there's a huge loss like that, it can um, divide families, it can push people apart. We were very fortunate in our family. It was very much a bond that pulled everybody in and it pulled the whole family very close and very tight. The, what we're looking for is we're looking for any silver linings that came out of tragic circumstances. Um, it could be as simple as a tragic circumstance puts you into therapy and you realize that you have a lot of other things that you had to deal with that you didn't deal with and you end up healing generational trauma. That's something huge to be grateful for. That's something really, really positive. So focus on how you've grown and and what that experience has 
either shared with you, given you, instilled in you, um, there's there's always something that can that we can be grateful for, even in the darkest of times. I do think it's really important to um, also mention that if you are feeling feelings of grief and you are trying to work through them on your own, so you're doing this practice, you are feeling the feelings, then you are releasing the feelings, and then you're looking for areas to, to turn it into a positive. But there's only so much that some of us can do. And if you are feeling, um, if you're not feeling relief, or if it's feeling worse, or if it's feeling different, um, and you feel like you need additional help, I would also definitely encourage you to seek help, help from a professional, help from a spiritual leader. Um, but you don't have to do this alone. And I, I think sometimes we get into this like little bubble of feeling like we're the only person who is experiencing the feelings we feel. And so we tend to not reach out. And I think that it is very, very important to know that everybody needs help and it's okay to reach out for help. Some things just need more than a video. So don't feel any kind of way if you're doing these things and it's not working and you need additional help. That's totally okay. I'd also like to remind you that the feelings of grief are not forever. And grieving is such an interesting thing because it, it ebbs and flows. It's like waves, you know? There's times when it comes in and it feels very strong and it seems like there's nothing else in this world that is happening and then it flows back out and everything feels you know, fine, normal. So that is just kind of a, a natural part of life. And, and so know that even when you deal with things, there might be more that flows back in and that's okay. It just means that there's unresolved things that you need to deal with. And it's better to face these things head on and deal with them than it is to step it down and, and to just subscribe to, you know, that, that toxic positivity. Um, we don't need that. It's okay to have low vibration days, but it's understanding that you have the tools and the resources available to you to change it when you're ready and when you have dealt with it. So I hope this video was helpful on a couple ways to deal with grief. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. If you have any tools, tips, or tricks on ways that you deal with grief, I would love it if you could also share that in the comments down below. It would be really nice just to have other ideas and recommendations down there so that if what I'm suggesting isn't helpful, maybe something that someone has suggested in the comments will be helpful. I hope this video was helpful and can provide you with a little bit of peace Thank you so much for watching this. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post new videos. And if you found this video helpful, please feel free to share it. Um, getting this information out to as many people as possible is definitely the goal and you can help me with that. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.